One thing that I will tell you is that I am not a photographer. I'm a dentist. And my goal whenever I talk to another dentist about photography is not to turn a dentist into a photographer. I don't have a photographer background. I don't, you know, I never took courses in photography beyond what I felt like I needed to know for what I do in my dental office. So you're getting this presentation right now from a dentist to another dentist. And I'm going to show you my systems and my protocol and things that I do in my office that make the photography really worthwhile to me. And I hope it's beneficial to you. I hope you pick up some cool new tricks and some tips that you'll be able to utilize in your office and increase your enjoyment for clinical photography. So what are we going to be learning today in clinical photography? I put together a little package here where I thought it would be all inclusive for clinical photography. We're going to talk a little bit about the importance of digital photography, basically why I got started taking pictures. Uh, we're going to go into basics of clinical photography, that is getting proper exposure with your camera. That's good information, not just in your dental office, but if you want to take your camera elsewhere, and take pictures of your family, you want to take pictures of events, things like that, you'll be able to use your camera outside of the office as well. We're going to review the settings for clinical photography, that is the personal settings that I use. Uh, we'll be going over my equipment that I use for clinical photography, uh, the standardized views as, as um, given to us by the American Academy of Cosmetic Dentistry. I'll show you how I get those views. I'll show you simple ways to get the proper views, uh, proper standardized views. There's 12 before and after views to get, and I will show you how I do those. We'll go into my treatment rooms where we'll do that on a live patient. Preferably, we'll do that on a live patient. Patients that are breathing are much easier to work on. Also, we'll go over the common errors in photography. Those are ones that I see very often when I'm, when I'm teaching over the shoulder clinical photography courses uh, that doctors are getting you know, poor positions, things like that. So we'll go over in detail common errors and also some of my tips and tricks for getting pictures that really pop. 